Today's Rambam, Hilchis Mechira, Perik Vav. Um, we're going to discuss like, three, three halachas, two halachas really, but the main is the third halacha. <coughs> so the Rambam, there's an interesting case here. Famous halacha in, 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 in the Gemara and the Sugya that it is. Somebody has a star chayv that he bet, lent somebody money, and with that he can collect from him, from his uh, kuchais, and, and so forth. And he takes, you can sell. So I sell the loan. So it's a big uh, business today in a lot of places. You sell loans, uh, banks sell loans to others. And the note is sold to somebody else. I nasled matano. He gives it to him as a gift. So <clears throat> the Rambam Perik Vav Alochi Yud tells us, nope. You, I, you really did not sell him anything. All you sold him was the proof, <laughs> and proof can't be given over. in the tefesas biyad. Then Alochi Yud Aleph, he gives you the process how you can do it. And then comes halachi base. That's the, the key. However, what I told you now that I'm says about how to sell the shtar, kinyin ashtar is b'dera chazayis midivrei seifim. So it's not a It's not a derais. I'm not tayra ein harayos niknois. You cannot sell rayos. You can't sell proofs. Ela gufa davavadkan. You can only sell something tangible. That's the understanding. Lefichach, now this is the great chiddush here. Somebody does sell a star to somebody else. Adayin yochalimcha, he can be meichel the chayv, and the guy who with the note is left holding a note. Okay, he can go back and get his money back from him, but that's about it. The guy himself, the malva, dies. Is Yerush, who inherits everything that the father had, he can also uh, be Meichel. So the Ramam clearly states here, and we were going to see another Ramam where he's a lot more elaborate in explaining the logic behind this. Um, not in, not in Hilchis Mechira. We'll talk about it soon. But here in Hilchis Mechira, this is what he says that because Kenya stars are mana, therefore you can be Mike. The Ravid argues on the Ramah. No, no, that's not the reason. But the reason is they shall the Levit says to I never I never um authorized to be part to be obligated to you. I don't have you don't have to ship it on me. And he lays you bad this answer. Oh, however, and I never obligated myself to you. I'm going to say to, to, the, to the Malva. Oh, but if in the contract he writes, I am obligating myself to you or to anybody who comes through your powers, anybody who has the power of attorney, of you, not power of attorney, but anybody who has your powers, which means Anybody that you sell the star to, give the star to, doesn't matter. That's it. Can be Michael, because the leva is mishabed himself to the to the to the to the to the to the, to the, to the, to the uh, lekeach. It is gemara is a gemara in ksubis daf pei hey. And there the gemara says clearly the halacha the rama and Tesis, in the name of the ri asks the question. How can you sell a chay? Ishleime, the leva has karka. See, now you sell him the shibud. But without karka, what are you selling? <laughs> it's, not, it's not anything to sell. You're selling a piece of paper. It says exactly like that it's not a mech and a raisa. Then he brings the tam. It's also only a mech and a so Tesis Shitta is its Midrabbanan. 
did it thought brings this opinion that it's only Rabbanu, and he explains since Mechilah is Rabbanu, Mechila of the Irish is the Raisa. So the Mechila, the Raisa takes away the Mechir of the Rabbanu. And he quotes Rabbeinu Tam in Loshan Acher, the second shot of Rabbeinu Tam, that no, it could be the Raisa. And this is the Rabbeinu Tam that a lot of people quote. And that is a star has two things. There is two rights that I have as an owner of a star, the, 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 the Malva. One is uh, there is a Shibut Aguf. The person of the Leva is obligated to pay me. So, and the, the Lashon Apostolic is ever the Leva Ish Malva. Really, it's a personal relationship between a Malva and a Leva. And then there is Nechosim, there is properties that I can collect from the the Leva. The Malva can collect from the Leva. So he says, the Sheba Nechosim is nothing more than a guarantor. It's not the actual loan, actual connection. So that I can sell, but I can't sell the relationship. You don't know, sell so the relationship between a meich and a and a and a and a, and a, and a leva. It's that's avdus. That's a that's a relationship of shibud, where where you are obligated to me. What am I selling? An obligation. So he says. So the obligation remains with the malva and the leva. Only has a shibud nechassim. Good. So what happens if uh, if somebody has an arim and the, and he's meichel alone? That's gone. The arim does not to pay anything. So here also, you took away the loan, there's no alarm anymore. Yeah. <clears throat> Basically, the Meiri says a similar line as the Rambam, that uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that for now. Now, in explaining the Rabbeinu Tan, if you say that is the Raisa, according to that point, um, the Ktsais is Simon Samachvov brings all these brings three basic shitas. Brings the Rambam, Khirish Taras Darbonan, which the re agrees with. The Rabbana Tam that everybody quotes. That even if he says the Raisa, there's a Shiba Daguf and there's a Shiba Nachasam, as we just said. And then there's the Raiv that we read, and he says what the Raiv means. Now in understanding the Ravid, the Ktseis and the Grach disagree. The Ktseis says um, that the Ravid means that no, there is no difference between Shibit Aguf, Shibit Achos, not like the Rabbinic Tam. That because of, on, on the Malva side, if there are only a Malva involved, it's an interesting idea with the Ktseis offers here. If there were only a Malva involved, the sale would be a good sale. That was the Malva's rights to the sheep he can sell. The problem is that the, the, the Leva has to be has to be part of that sheep. He has to give himself over. Since he is the Evid Leva, he doesn't say those words, but I'm just Paraphrasing, he's the Evid Leva Malva. He is the one that's obligating himself. It's not just you are obligated to me. I am obligated to you. I am obligating myself to you. So the Leva being obligating himself to the Malva, that the Le- Malva can't sell. <laughs> can't sell the Leva. Can sell the Malva's part, but he can't sell the Leva. And since he can't sell the Leva, unless the Leva uh, gave him the right to sell him, his shibud, then he can't do it. So in other words, there's two parts, there's three parts. <laughs> there is the nechassim, which are an arev, assuming the way the way there is rock slides. There is the shibud, the mishabed of the malva, and there's the shibud of the lady. So the mishabed can sell his, his kayach of mishabed. He can sell his kayach, his, the, 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 the shibud nechassim, that doesn't belong to any it's not part of a person, but the shibud of the leiva he can't sell, unless the shay, the leiva gave it over to him. 
a very interesting insight into the uh, in, into this concept. Chaim doesn't learn like that. Chaim says that the 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 the, the goes according to the Tam. One approach, different to Shiva Daguf and Shiva Hanachosim. Same idea. Take away the Shiva Daguf, you lose the Shiva Nachos. Then he has a new twist, a, a, a very deeper twist into this concept. He wants to say that the Shibud is not transferable. The right to the Shibud is transferable. Now, the Shibud Haguf, even the Shibud Haguf, is re, when I sell it, what I am selling, I am selling that it's my, the, 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 the Malva remains with the Shibud. And the Leva has the right to tap into my Shibud. That's, that's the Kayak. Yes, I could transfer the Shibud. Not the actual Shibud, but the right to the Shibud. Um, that, that, and therefore, he can talk, go with the Kayak of the Shibud. He can't talk about the the Diyat because you're, 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 you own the Shibud. You own my rights to my Shibud. But ultimately, it's mine. The Malva remains with the Malva. The Leva can tap into the Malva Shiba. So the Malva's Michael is gone. It's, 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 a, it's another step. <laughs> I don't want to go into how many, how many levels now there is according to that step, but there, there are different levels of Shibun, and that's all. There's. Okay, that's all the different opinions, but that's not the Rambam. Now, there is one place where the Rambam is very, very clear about what this is all about, but creates other problems that we need to explain. In Hilchis Chia Matona, Perik Yud Halacha Beis, there's a din called Shchiv Mera. And this is based on a Gemara in Baba Basra. The Gemara in Baba Basra tells us that a Shchiv Mera, when he says, give this star to this and this person, done. And on that, the Gemara says that you can't be Michael, meaning the, we're talking about the Irish at this point. Whether the guy himself can be Michael, the Miri says clearly, of course he can, but the Yairish can be Michael. Um, so the question is obviously, the Shimon himself can be Michael, but the Yairish can be Michael. Why? Umar says it's Midrabana. Not the Shimera, even though it's Midrabana. Asu Isa Kishal Taira. They made it like Taira. So the Rambam explains. This is the Rambam. What's the difference a and a regular person? Therefore, Hayerish Adayin Ze Hashtar Shaloyu. The star doesn't belong to the like to the like it belongs to the Yerish. And therefore, Umaikle, they make me Michael. In other words, the concept, since he owns it, Minatayra, this guy owns it Midrabana. Finish the right tire circumvents the Rabana. And even though it is Midrabanan. Uh, however, also They made it like that. That's what it says in the Gemara. But the Ramam doesn't stop at that. And he explains it. It's as if he owns the money. And it actually came to his hand. Well, initially, Yerush making it. And the Yerush just have nothing. That's what he says. I mean, this is clearly from the words Akilu Kana is all the Rambam's own explanation. Doesn't say it in the Gemara. I don't find it much in Rishayim. <laughs> the Miri says this very nicely, and, and the logic. Why did they do it so good? Because of Tiruv Das Shemira, they don't want him to have too much anxiety and therefore get uh, to add to his woes and 
and and and and and bring his death about quicker. So because of that, they made this takan. So the question really is, in many different ways. First of all, the Ramam always uses the word raya, raya, raya. Why is he always coming back to that word raya? Okay, obviously that's a big point, but why always repeat it? Number of times, why in, in Hilchis Mechira a couple of times, in Shimra again, uh, the raya. Um, yeah. Now, Shimra, good, they made a takana because of Tir of Das. Once they made such, they could make such takana, why didn't they do this by every, by, you know, the guy sold of them. The logic is that it would be nice that I buy something I should have, right? So give him the same right. If you could do it, why don't you do it there? <laughs> why, why did they sell, the, 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 why did they do that? Now, again, the Asus, the, the Rambam, creates like a new concept that why why does he need this whole last second line like ilu kon the mamish bestam and i the other also i think it's a tire finish like everybody else says like the gemara says where did he get this additional line as we know the ramam doesn't usually add to the gemara why would he do that why is the necessity to do that and if he's going to explain that they made it ilu kon the mamish bestam and i i guess it's less to be asu kishotair because uh, otherwise, uh, it'll be a drabonum with the rice. But anyway, you know, if it's if he owns it, he owns it. But but the main thing is why me? Who needs all this? And as we saw, the Ramiri brings it without it. The Gemara brings it without it. Uh, what's the necessity to this? Uh, perhaps we can say that the Ramam is explaining to us based on the telling us what a star is. So let's take a look. The Ramam famously in Hilchis Edus Per Gimel Allah Chedalad makes a statement that din teira, you can't have Edus writing anything. They have to speak. Al pi shnayim edu. And therefore, they say for him that you can pass him from in the Nemominus from a star. Even though the Edom are not there. But you can't use the stars in other places like this and from the PM Olympics, Olympics have yet. So the Ramban in Sefer Mitzvah's famous Ramban asks, Woo, what in the world are you talking about? There's Gitten, there's Kedushin, there's, 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 there's uh, Kinyonim. What's going on here? How can you tell me your star is not a Dreisa? A woman gets divorced, Chas woman gets a Kudush with a star. You're going to tell me that it's not Dreisa? So, the famous Reb uh, Chaim uh, on this that uh, that everybody who ever learned stars knows, but I'll just bring out the main point of what he says, which is uh, it, it, it is very very clear in the Ramam that that's what he has to mean. Meaning that the Ramam is not talking about star. There's two types of stars. There's star Kinyan and there's star Raya. Star Kinyan is not edus star. Shtari Kinyan is that they are creating a Kinyan. That's a, that's a Shtar Kinyan. That's a Chiddush of Get and all those that there's a such thing. Shtari Raya is Edus. Because that's what they're doing. They are testifying that, 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 that this is a Shtar. Now, Shtari Kinyan can be used for Edus. Shtari Raya is different. Well, what's, what's the difference? The Kudus Advarim is... Um, the, 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 what is what is the star about? Is it a star made Liraya? Or is it a star made Lakinian? So the, the, the answer Lakaira is that it's a star, it, 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 that's the difference. Star Kenyan is a star Kenyan. It's, it's so once it's called a, a, a din star on it, you can use it for Raya. Star Raya is a star Raya. It's that's what it is. And since it's a star Raya, it's a goddess. So it's only Midrabana. 
You can't go by the Kenyan in it. So here it's a pella. And this will, this will answer a question that we have. Every star raya we just said has an Kenyan. It's Mamun Shabbat star. Right? That's the Mamun Shabbat star. Kenyan, the Mamun Shabbat star, as the Raman just said. So there's a Kenyan there too. The answer is that's once it's a star raya, it has Kenyan. But it doesn't, it has to begin with a star raya. And that could be why the Ramam stresses so many times the Indian Mechiris Araya, because you cannot sell the Kenyan. The Kenyan is not what makes it a star. Without Raya, it's no Edus. Without the Chiddush Rabbanan of star Raya, it's not Edus. This Kenyan will not happen. It's not the star of Kenyan that the Torah was Mechadish. That's star. The Ramam is describing star Raya primarily as Raya. Yes, it has Kenyan. It has Shibu, it has Kenyanim. But that's not what it comes from. It comes only from the fact that it's Chalan and Ashtar Raya. Whereas in Get, you can use it as Raya later, Mitzad, it's, it's, because, it's, because it, it has a, a Shem Shtar. Oh, so that explains what we, you know, the, the, the abundance of stress on Raya. So now let's understand. Shechiv Let's say it were uh, the Ramam would uh, why the Ramam has to add Kidal Kona Mamash Bishtam and Atari Vigil Yada. And why doesn't he just stop with saying Shaosuka Shatari? And what would be then? The Yairish and Marikal. So you can't destroy my no part is because also Tairi Mavatla the Rabbanon. You can't do it. I'm a Draisa. I'm a Tairi also. He says because. If that, that, that's great, <laughs> but, but it's still a star. Raya. How do I sell it? How does it go over to you? You don't have a, you cannot have a, a visa in a, in a raya. How did it get to the, to the, to the how, did it, how did it go over to this other guy? To the Lakea? So you can make it Kishal Taira that the Mechira is Kishal Taira, but it doesn't change the reality. The reality is. That it's only Raya. And Raya doesn't become, Raya can be given over. So the Ramam says the only way you can do it is treat it as a Shtar Kenyan. The Chiddush of Shimra, they treat it as a Shtar Kenyan. They went around the, 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 the din of the PM and made it a Shtar Kenyan and sold the Kenyan. In other words, you can't sell a raya. It doesn't make a difference. We may not tell you, so what? It's not tired. But I didn't sell anything. There's nothing there. So it has to be that they went to the Kenyan and they sold the Kenyan. Now, how can they do that? How can they do that? And the answer is, they did it, Zak de Ritva, with a kayak of uh, Hefke Bez and Hefke. He says, that, they, that, that because of Shem Etichem Daita, they said, Hefke Bez and Hefke. Throw him by Basu. Oh, so they, they, they basically went around the star part and were Mafka the Kenyan to him. Oh, now I have a Kenyan finished. The Kenyan's not yours anymore. Anyway. That's what the Ramah Mahat said. In K, and so the Ramah says, what does it mean, Asu Kishal Tair? Asu Kishal means they made it into a star of Kenyan. And therefore, you can they 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 were they they gave him over to king. Ah, oh, now we understand why we don't do that by 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 a regular by, by a regular mech. You you you, <laughs> you can't turn stories suddenly into something they're not. Star Ryan into something they're not. If you have extenuating circumstances of Shema Tichur Daita, they said Racham came along and made it after Bezn after. But in a normal case, why would why would they be Mafkin Belzin? Why should they do that? Go, go change the Hill So they they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't touch it. They have to go really go around the basis of Shtar and turn it into something it's not. And take the Shtar and give it a dinner of a Kenyan. Can't do that. And that would explain. Why the Ramam needs that and the, what the Ramam is saying. Akaponim, perhaps, it's a Mahalach the Ramam, 
a beer in the Ram at least in that part. Uh, 